all doing? Hope you had a great weekend. I'm here today to do a review on the book Hate List by Jennifer Brown. And you might have seen it in my, no, not my last time. I believe it was the haul before that. It is 405 pages, so it's a pretty long book. But I will just go ahead and get into the synopsis of the story. On May 2nd, a boy named Nick Lovell um, takes a gun out at his high school and shoots a whole bunch of different classmates and ends up killing some and injuring some. So thought to be an accomplice in this shooting was Nick's girlfriend and her name is Valerie Lefman and the reason she is thought to be an accomplice is because she started a hate list in which Nick chose the victims of the shooting. During the shooting, which was um, in the commons, a place where the students hung out before class started, Valerie jumped in front of one of her ed um, worst enemies and ended up saving her life and was shot in the leg during that. So that's basically the sort of background of the story and the rest of it is kind of Valerie um, dealing with the whole aftermath of the story and how she changes and how other people change because of this devastating event. So the story is very character driven. It's mostly just about Valerie and her journey. So she's very confused because she doesn't know what to think. She She's very blindsided by this because she had no idea that Nick was planning to do this and everyone is sort of against her because they think she was a part of it uh, because a lot of the evidence and witnesses say that she was. She doesn't know if she's a hero or a criminal because here people are saying she's a hero because she saved this girl Jessica's life. Um, which was her worst enemy, and then people are saying she's a criminal because she's the one that started the hate list. So, um, she can't even decide for herself, and everyone else is making their decisions about her. Also, another one of the big issues she has is sort of letting go of Nick. She's still in love with this guy who she knew to be charming and romantic and very sweet, and she still has doubts that he could have done something like this, but it's a reality for her and she has to face that. The story is told in flashbacks. Um, it goes back to the day of the shooting and everything that was happening, what was happening in Valerie's mind and kind of the events preceding the shooting and then it jumps to present day where Valerie has to deal with the aftermath and it also throws in love snippets of articles that were written on the victims. So. I liked that a lot because you kind of got to know the victims as more than just people or names and you, got to, you kind of got to see a backstory about them and who they were and maybe why they were written on the hate list. So let's talk about characters. Um, the first one is Nick Level and he is the shooter of course. At times you did hate him because what he did was pretty much unacceptable and um, other times you kind of fell in love with him just like Valerie did because she showed you um, his sweet side and how they came to meet and be together and kind of the things they talked about. And he was just more than a criminal. He was, he was into Shakespeare and he did things for Valerie and he ultimately wanted her best interest. He hated being a loser in other people's eyes and he was just kind of another victim as well. Next character is Valerie which is the main character and I thought she was a very realistic character because um, through her thoughts you could tell that she wasn't perfect before or after the shooting. It did, it did change her but it still left her angry and guilty and all these other things. She did make a lot of bad choices throughout the book I believe and some she didn't even want to admit but then some she kind of owned up to and at many times she felt like running away but I really admire her in the end for not running away and for kind of putting the past behind her and starting a new journey which is what was ultimately wanted for her. The most surprising thing for me in the story were Valerie's parents. Um, I did not like them at all. I did not think that they were very supportive or trusting her mom especially. They didn't trust her and her dad was very selfish and mean and they were just kind of parents you would not want to have in this kind of situation because they blamed um, Valerie a lot for everything that happened and 
they kind of disowned her a little bit. In the end, they came around a tad bit, but I still feel like they never really saw Valerie's point or talked to her about it. It seemed like they only cared about how everything was affecting them and um, how it made them feel. Last character I want to talk about is Dr. Healer, and that is Valerie Shrink. He was ultimately to thank for um, her success. I mean, Valerie, of course, was to thank, but he helped her and he supported her. He understood what she was going through, and he gave her a lot of great advice throughout the book, I think, and he was kind of her last string of hope. I thought this book was very well written, and I thought it was very thought-provoking. Um, it kind of made you look at the bigger picture and kind of see what's really going on, who these people really are, and facing reality. Overall, I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars because I really enjoyed it, and I recommend it to anyone that likes YA books and books about teenagers and kind of the hard issues that they are going through. Just keep in mind that this book isn't for everyone and I um, just want to put like a disclaimer that it does deal with a lot of heavy topics. It's not a light read by any means. Um, some of the things that they talk about are suicide, murder, um, depression, and bullying. So, bullying, sorry. Um, so just keep in mind and if those kinds of things are not really um, suitable for you, then I wouldn't suggest reading this book if it's maybe too offensive or whatnot. So that is my review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely recommend this book, and thank you guys all so much. Please like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!